okay so now let's uh, run this so let's again see what we have created here we may get some errors but let's see we are importing processes we are importing processes care generation we have created a new model um, we are created a hidden layer we created our RNN module now the output uh, earlier the output was n categories now the output is n letters uh, we are now we have also so earlier we were just calculating the loss at the end all we're doing on the output here now but the, our loss is a sum of every iteration uh, so let's see it will be interesting to see now the loss graph uh, loss dot backward and let's also create an output graph at each step so that we know how it's working uh, let's do for the uh, let's do for the output uh, for hidden uh, let's do for both and let's see if we can find some interesting stuff from that So now let's run it and see how it's working. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, let's go inside this. Here it has gone inside this. Uh, so input size is 57, hidden is 128, output is again 57, and then categories is 19. So we created one layer, uh, the first layer which is taking the input and creating a hidden size, output the hidden size, then the second is creating this, this thing and outputting an output size okay and the output layer is at the final at each output uh, we are passing the head one size and the output size and it's giving us the uh, output size that's right we have to pass in okay mm -hmm. we are also adding so we'll go more detail on this what they are doing so we are also passing a dropout and then the soft max on so we'll see what we are doing here. So we created a learning rate. We can go down fit and let's go inside the fit function. We have defined the iterations, print this, loss, start, perfect. It took and then the iteration. So let's see uh, which function it will call. Perfect, it is called random training example. Despite we created, there were two defined, but I think because it was defined later, uh, so it has picked this instead of uh, picking. There was a random training example here as well. That's nice, okay. So let's see what it's outputting. Uh, oh, it throws through an error. All categories is not defined. Okay, let's see why. What is the reason for that? All categories is not defined, but we defined all categories here. So I did it should. All categories is empty. Okay, it should have uh, all categories should have been. Let's see if it's if it process this or not. Let's restart it. Yeah, it is going here. 
all categories it's defined all categories why it's saying i don't know let's see again and categories it's taking and categories so it should also take uh, let's see is all categories defined now Oh, it's still not defined. Let's try to understand the reason. Well, that's strange. ID should have been there. So let's do it again to see the reason. So if I remove the star, global values are still there. So let's just see. Well, let's let's first do with the star and then removing the star. Let's run it again. okay so what I am saying is they all the global variables have vanished so let me just uh, run it without star so as these many global variables so now if I go inside oh the global variables are still going uh, so why it's not been able to, to capture global variables mm -hmm. yeah so what I did was I uh, moved from in processes import star from from here from here to processes care gen so now it's working uh -huh. and uh, what is the reason for that so we'll go through what is the reason for that uh, why we can't uh, uh, ideally it should have take i'm defining globally so we should have passed the global variables to this file i don't know the reason we'll learn more on that okay okay so now let's see what it has created it has created a random category Greek it is picking a line now uh, from this which is this line and it's returning it uh, now it's creating a category tensor so category tensor should be let's see what is the shape of the category tensor my category tensor dot shape 119 and if I just print it so it's showing one here uh, input tensor I think again input tensor should be same like uh, X comma 1 comma 70 57 let's see yeah and target line can tensor is I uh, think okay so the input and what is the target target line is we are adding uh, so what we are doing is we are adding an uh, end of sentence uh, so which means that my yeah input we are input I am fine so what we are doing here is uh, let's just go through this Yeah, so my n letters is <coughs> 57 so which means and what is my n letters so my n letters is uh, 
all s chi length of all letters okay so what i am doing here is uh, from here i am for each value i am taking the value and uh, okay let's just see i am appending 56 at the end okay so maybe ideally i should do 57 and of the character and of sentence oh, it should be 50 why it should not be because uh, if i do my So, but what is my let me do okay all letters 56 yeah. okay so what they are saying is they have considered this as an end of sentence so ideally maybe we can uh, just add so what they are saying is they are expecting that there won't be any apostrophes in the send data because that's what they are doing otherwise Yeah, so what they are saying is this is end of sentence maybe i can create some some more maybe a hash or something and then assign that now so what is doing is it's okay let's see the output yeah so the interesting thing will be that my target line tensor dot what is the shape of this so shape is of oh, nine the shape is nine okay so which means if i print okay so it's just a bunch of so what it means is at each input which is 197 157 length i'm i would be outputting zero uh, so one more thing if you see so my input is always a one hundred and quarter, but my output is because I have to compute the loss. It will be a single value. Uh, so here, if my if my line is k a, if you see at zero, it's it's starting from uh, eggland gate tage, and at the end, end of sentence. So let's just go out. Oh, again, it's showing some error. Okay, we'll fix it. So, yeah. so if you see, we are getting this error of positional arguments. I don't know why we are getting this answer square to positional arguments. Input tensor and what was the output of this? did return three values category tensor okay let's see if we see the error they were using star is that the reason for using star let's run it again so as we discussed category tensor is Yeah, so if we see our category tensor, just to repeat again, our category tensor is a one hot encoder for the category. Input line tensor is again one hot encoder for the input. Target line, which is the output, is a one 
it's basically the value of a l d w i n and the stop word uh, so this will be matched uh, across so here each of this output element will be matched what will be the output from this whole encoder one hot encoder so let's just run it once more okay cool now this time it worked okay so if you see why it worked it because uh, if we pass a star it's a strict uh, it's used in the functional declaration it allows variable numbers for arguments to be passed cool so we we had used star here which means that uh, i can pass variable number of mm, arguments okay so now let's go ahead and let's see so target line tensor dot unsqueeze okay okay uh, so what they are doing uh, let's just do that so they did unsqueeze now what is my line target on unsqueeze okay now what is my target line tensor okay so what they did was they put everything into its own single target dot shape so earlier it was <coughs> so earlier it was of seven it was one array with seven elements uh, one one dimension now they have created it two dimension uh, with now seven rows and one value okay uh, i don't know it was required maybe you could have just pass it and pick one value so let's go ahead i created a hidden so my hidden is all zero and what's its shape it's shape is 1 comma 128 my loss is zero i have created my hidden charts and output charts i should see here now oh, that's now the magic so now my input dot size so what it will do is it will pass one hot encoder every time uh, which i can see here let's go inside so here we are uh, our category is let's just see now so if i see my category is category dot shape it's one hot encoder my input dot input dot shape uh, again it's a one hot encoder will add that and i think we'll also combine hidden hidden dot shape cool so now my end we are using tos.cat and uh, as i said it right, now the output should be one and to concatenate all these values so now what is my if i do input combine dot shape 204 so now this is my one layer uh, and then linear layer it's taking input combined okay and it's creating the hidden layer so my input so it's uh, my one layer which is called light to edge it is taking input it is taking initial hidden which is all zeros and it's taking a category and it's outputting a hidden layer which is of size oh, i think 1 comma 128 
So if I do hidden dot three, uh, it should be one comma one twenty eight. Now my output is again my output. It's taking all the same things. Input category and the hidden and it's producing let's see what it is producing output dot shape so it is producing one of the one comma 75 it has to predict one of the characters uh, now this is interesting uh, so where what is taking is it's taking this okay and the hidden which we have got okay and it's producing a output combined and then this is okay this is again producing this is my final output so here what we are doing is we are combining hidden and the output so hidden from the next layer and the output from this okay okay and it's producing the final output which is 1 comma 27 comma 70 57 and then I'm putting a dropout uh, which is just some exercise on top of that and then I'm running a soft max to make it probabilities and then giving a final output and my hidden okay so here I'm creating a loss I'm adding a loss going it again and let me just see my charts this is an interesting chart okay cool we'll come back to this let me just run it run run let me just run it once more go into this okay so now i'm using this hidden i to h So an interesting question here is why it needs two iterations. Why can't it just directly work on I two O? We are getting one comma fifty seven out of that because it's saying uh, here we are having an input layer and uh, mixing it uh, with a hidden layer and category. But uh, so here is the graph of loss so here if you see we are back propagating loss at each output so one issue or one thing i'm not able to understand is why uh, they are adding why they are adding the current output of the hidden layer for checking the output which means like uh, if I have a okay so what they are doing is yeah so my question is here they have the input they have the hidden layer they have the current category and they are producing an output and then they are also training that output along with the hidden layer to create one more output so why it's needed because we are doing the prediction and uh, I don't know I think that's a big question mark uh, what is the benefit of uh, doing this architecture yeah, so here if I see uh, finally is my add, add backward this is my loss which I'm calculating at each step then this is my layer uh, the last software max layer multiply backward then this is my that output layer which is where i'm adding output plus hidden layer and producing the output which is like 57 and here it will be 
here it will be uh, yeah so here i'll be adding cat backward admin backward yeah so here i'm using yeah this one yeah so here i'm adding this is my output layer from the output layer i am just a second yeah so here i'm uh, this is my cat backward here i'm doing an addition so here i'm first using yes if i see here it's i'm using one is one is my this this is output plus hidden and then this is my hidden layer so my hidden layer oh no sorry this is my output layer uh, so output layer is i'm just passing it directly cat backward now uh, so here it contains then the whole this which is from the end port well, it should be this one yeah this one where i'm in my input is input plus category plus previous hidden layer and i'm outputting an output and then on that i'm merging my previous hidden layer output so which is this yeah so this is my previous layer output so after all the calculations from here um so here if i can see this this is what i can consider as my layer so getting cat backward which is i'm uh, concatenating both values I'm containing two values, which is the output from two layers. One layer is this one, which is indirectly I'm passing the output and the hidden. Okay. And my second layer is the hidden layer from output from the hidden layer yeah so here also because this is from hidden plus output so it will have some one version of this which we can see this is cat backward the cat backward going here okay yeah okay I think so the way to uh, learn this is here it's an execution path for all the uh, learnable parameters so add backward is the last one uh, so if we see the first one this is the loss uh, is a learnable parameter uh, we have to back propagate uh, then the last layer uh, which is we have to run the logs of max then on top top I think this is the dropout layer I can see here now this is my this layer so it has three learnable parameters one is the weight uh, which is coming from here this is the last layer output and uh, uh, final output and the input is hidden plus output and this is the bias for that for the output and this is our uh, the input because the input is also a learnable parameter that was that that's why there's an uh, arrow here so if I see my input it's a, a concatenation though there's a concatenation backward then it contains the hidden layer and the output and both are again uh, the layers so they will again have their add multiplication which again goes backward if I come here uh, so this uh, this is again it contains both contains the input combined so if I see and input combine is again the category so that's why if you see category backward 
it, it's passing to both. Uh, so in output will have its own learnable parameters. So there will be two learnable parameters, which is uh, this one here output plus the, the input combined. And so this is also clear. Now if I see this, this will have three. Uh, one is obviously the input, so that's the learnable parameter. And these two will be the parameters for the layer. So if we pick uh, one, one more, if I see this one, add backwards, loss, loss, multiply backward, this is I think a dropout layer. And this is now going to, again going to uh, this layer. Uh, this again contains three parameters, one is category backward, uh, which is for this learnable parameter and the, and the two bias and the weights which we'll see this 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 and there are two directly it will be for the output and this again will be category backward so if we see this is going again it has two input and output So it will, there are two, two of these and then it's going further backward. Yeah, I think it's a lot complicated. Maybe need to spend more time or maybe more. Uh, yeah. So one more thing is because I took the first one. This is the last one actually because it's directly output from the last iteration which means that it will so I think one thing that is not still clear to me is why we need the hidden yes I think one thing that is not clear is why we are passing the uh, so we are doing the two things same we are passing the input hidden a category we are generating an output we are passing an input hidden and category and we are generating a hidden and then we are doing it again can't we just combine it into once oh, yeah so instead of uh, so one thing that we need to do is instead of like doing it multiple times why can't I just no okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so let's run it again No, it has created oh my god what is the loss value okay so my loss is four okay Cool. So now let me just convert this to save the data and uh, run some prediction. So now let's try to save this data. See, it can be made uh, more modular, but I think for now, I'll just copy paste it. We'll add that later. it saves uh, models uh, let's name it models 
join path car gen and let's try to run it for less Okay, now let's see how it goes. Let's also just comment these so that it doesn't have to create the images again and again. Okay, uh, I don't know why I face this issue, but okay, still let me just create the directory. Cool, it worked. Okay, so let me just do it for thousand. Or maybe let's just run it for all one lakh. As you can see, it's running. So it may take, I think, maybe a few minutes more. 